I don't think that there's another Linux YouTuber out there that has done as many videos about file managers and file pickers than I have. I've done so many that people might think I'm a little bit obsessed with it, and there may be some truth to that. I mean, because really, how much energy should one spend on actually talking about file choosers and file managers? I spend way too much on it. I, I'll be honest about that. Now, about six months ago, maybe a little bit longer than that, I made a video talking about how file pickers on Linux are terrible. And I stick by that, that I think that the worst part about Linux that I can even say is that the file pickers are just so bad. They're fragmented mess, and none of the ones that are used are good in any way. They're just varying levels of absolute terrible garbage. And that has just been the case forever, and it doesn't seem to be something that anybody's interested in solving, and I'm not talented enough to go out and solve it myself, so maybe someday that can happen. I'm learning some coding, but we'll see how it goes. But anyways, the thing is, is I the my dream is to be able to use Ranger as my file picker. And for years now, that dream has been unrealized until today. Because today, my friends, I have learned how to make Ranger the file picker for a browser. Now, to be honest, it's Cute Browser. So if you can't use Cute Browser, then I still have no solutions for you. But if you are a Cute Browser fan or if you use Cute Browser, there is a way to make Cute Browser use Ranger as its file picker, file chooser, whatever you want to call it. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. It's really, really simple. And I'm, I've spent the whole money, morning playing with it. And I'm just so happy. I'm such a nerd. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and show you how to do this. So let's go ahead and go to the terminal here. And we'll go into my uh, dot .files and then cd into cute. Oops, if I can actually type. This keyboard is so bad. Cute browser. I, br I blame the keyboard when I mistype stuff. Yes, that's, the w that's just the way it is. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, what you need to do in order to enable this, obviously you'll need Ranger installed. Okay, so you obviously can't do this without Ranger. And you'll need to figure out what your default terminal is so obviously if you probably know this because you probably use your terminal all the time if you use ranger but you need to actually go through and figure out what the syntax for calling that terminal is from a, a prompt so for example if you use alacrity you'll need the dash e flag now the D, the dash e flag is pretty much standard for most terminals i know most of them use it but just check with your the man page of your terminal to make sure that that's the, the flag you'll need to use in order to open up a terminal with a program already running. I'm using Alacrity because it has a special feature that allows you to define a class name for that specific terminal. So when I open up Ranger using the file picker now in Cute Browser, it has the class of Ranger. That way I can define a rule in DWM that allows it to be floating. So that's really cool as well. That's not something that I, I that any other terminal does as far as I'm aware. Kitty might do that, I'm not sure, but I know Ranger does do it and it's awesome. So here are the lines you need. You need config.set and then parentheses, quotation marks, file select dot handler, quotation marks, comma, quotation marks, external, quotation marks, parentheses. And then you need this one here. I'm not reading all this out. <laughs> Anyways, the, the commands here, I'll copy them down in the video description below so you can just copy and paste. Uh, obviously, the only thing you'll need to change if you're using a different terminal is this here. And then if you're not using Alacrity, you'll need to get rid of this these two parts here because, like I said, this is Alacrity specific. And then save this. You add those two lines. It can be anywhere in the config.py file. And obviously, you'll be, need to be using the config.py config file for cute browser in order for this to work if you're using the the graphical GUI settings manager that doesn't use config.py you won't be able to do this as easily you probably there's probably settings in there for you to, to manage this I'm not sure I never use that so uh, it, you have to have the config.py enabled in order for this to work okay so once you've done that and, and you've pasted these lines in save that file and then we can go through and open up cute browser so what better place to do this than on Unix porn? Let's go ahead and upload a, f a file here. So we just go to image and video, upload, and then 
voila, we have Ranger as our file picker. So we'll go ahead and go to my pictures here. Yeah, that'll work. And then when you just found the file that you want to upload, hit enter. And there you go. That's how you upload with, with Ranger. So there is a way to go through and upload multiple files as well. And it's just how you'd expect. When you want to select multiple files in Ranger, you use the spacebar to select them and then you hit enter. Now, Reddit doesn't let you upload multiple files, but that's how you do it on a site that you needed to upload multiple files to. And then you just hit enter and it would upload them. Now, the thing is, this is not perfect. So in my brief time of using this this morning, I've experienced some errors. So sometimes you'll get like a 403 error or something, or it will say the renderer crashed. I'm assuming that's either a bug with Cute Browser or a bug with Ranger. I'm not sure what that is. I'm going to file it on their GitHub later on when I see it again. Uh, but just to keep that in mind that it's not a perfect solution, right? There's some bugs that still need to be worked out. This is a fairly new feature. It just came out in Cube Browser 2.0, I think last year, maybe the year before. I'm not sure now. Time flies just so fast. So it's not perfect. I also, I've also noticed that sometimes Ranger doesn't like navigating in this mode for whatever reason, and it'll just show you no files in your directories. I've had that happen a couple times, just closing Ranger and opening it back up with the proper steps to you know press upload or whatever, and uh, it will open up the file picker, which is Ranger, and it, will, it should fix that problem as well. So there are, like I said, there are some bugs, but otherwise, this is amazing. <laughs> I mean, it's, it feels like such a weird thing to care about, but this is a reason enough for me to go back to using Cute Browser because the the file picker for Firefox is horrible, just like all the other GUI file manager uh, file pickers are. And I upload enough files that this is something that is going to affect me every day. It's going to make me happy just to see this every day because I like Ranger so much more than that generic GTK file picker that uh, Firefox uses. And it's just one of those things that will improve or at least make my Linux life a little bit happier. And I think that, that that's a good thing. I really wish that I could get this working in Firefox, though, <laughs> because Firefox has good ad blocking. Or at least you can add good ad blocking. Uh, Cube, Cube Browser, not so much. Anyway, so that is it for this video. If you have questions, you can leave those in the comment section below. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Twitter at LinuxCast. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. Before I go, I'd like to take a moment to thank my current patrons. Devon, Chris, East Coast Web, Gen 2 is fun too. Patrick L, Primus, Sid A, Marcus, Maglin, Jack the Night Tool, Steve A, Mitchell, Arch Center, Emma Teas, Merrick Camp, Joshua Lee, J Dog, the BSC's Rock, and Peter A. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.